Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Siebert. It's time for the tropical forecast on YouTube as we take a look at what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico and also out in the Atlantic. So as we start off with the tropical satellite imagery, so the area of low pressure that's been kind of we've been talking about it for about a week now still really doesn't look all that organized, but we're beginning to see at least some convection around it. But as it moves to the north and to the east, it does look like we'll see the conditions becoming marginally favorable. Not great, but marginally favorable. So as we look at the bigger picture, uh, that now has a 30% chance over the next couple of days of organizing. And notice, so the low is still way down here. It's not until it gets up here into the northeastern parts of the Gulf of Mexico where we start to see least a little better environment. What's happening right now, the winds are up, the upper level winds are really strong, kind of just shearing off the top of it. But once you get up here, see how the clouds are not quite as uh, extensive and they're certainly not being moved around that much. So they're just sort of moving in a normal direction. That's where we could start to see that development. But I, as I look at it, I think it's going to, once it gets into the Atlantic, has a little better chance of organizing. So 40% chance now over the next five days. But during that time, it's also going to be interacting with most likely what will be Florida. So it's going to be bring rain to Florida. It's going to bring uh, some of that activity there. Not really going to have any impact on us at all down here uh, in the Houston area. And it's all again part of this big area of high pressure that is spinning around. So the upper level winds, once they get into the Gulf of Mexico, are just kind of clipping around this. Now, the frontal boundary that came through yesterday is now a stationary front, and that's just acting as a blocker. It's just not going to allow anything to come towards us. So this low is just going to follow what the upper level winds do and push it right out into the Atlantic, and then it'll start to head off to the north eventually. So that's we can thank that frontal boundary. That's why we like cold fronts in September, even though it might not cool us down. It certainly blocks what's ever happening in the Gulf, and that's exactly what's going to happen with this one. So as you look at the GFS, once we get to Thursday, it's a, it's across um, from Florida. And again, I don't really see it being that organized. Notice that the winds, the wind vectors are just kind of still all going in the same direction. But watch what happens from Thursday to Friday, though. As it comes out a little bit, starts to get a little more circulation. See how we got the low right there? That's why I think that we could see a depression possibly by that point. Uh, and again, maybe that's by Sunday. So even then it could be maybe more than that. But the good news about that is that most likely we just continue to head out to sea. Uh, certainly not going to influence us. Let's talk about Larry. It's still a major hurricane out into the Atlantic. See way up here, there's Bermuda. So that's kind of the target uh, as we're going to keep our eye on it. Winds are 115 miles per hour. So it's a good, healthy hurricane. But watch what happens now as we go into the forecast. As it moves ahead, winds are going to be less favorable once it moves up here. And so it's going to go from 2 down to a 1. And notice that it's also going to take a right-hand turn. So our friends on the East Coast are also thankful for cold fronts because that also helps to turn things away and, and also high pressure is going to work with that. But as we look at the forecast, the so winds at 115 right now. Once we get to Friday down to 90 and as it heads off to the north in the cooler waters by Saturday, it's still it's still dropping from a hurricane, but uh, it'll then fall apart once it gets up there to the north. So Larry has also been one that uh, could have caused problems, but is not. Now, you have to keep in mind that, you know, our friends on the East Coast from New York down to Philadelphia, I mean, they're still dealing with Ida. I mean, they've had the flooding there um, that's just going to last for some time. It's going to take them quite a while to recover from that. So they certainly don't need anything else headed towards them. So at this point, that's pretty much what's happening in the tropics, uh, not tracking any other things, at least for now. So like I said, we like to have those cold fronts especially if they don't cool us down, but they do help block whatever's happening there in the Gulf of Mexico. And Frank is, or Larry, I should say, is not going to be much of a problem for anybody. And it looks like it'll go even east of Bermuda as well. So that's our report for today. We'll see you next time.